Happy Monday! Happy Monday! Happy Monday, Happy Monday from the AM! Happy Monday! Happy Monday! How are you? <sighs> well, we're really into January, aren't we? I know. I'm excited though because we have some really fun stuff to talk about today. Yes, we did. Uh, we've got a contest coming up mm -hmm. and we've got some dates that are really important that we're going to put in the tip. Right. Uh, it'll be in the PDF, it'll be in the email, but there's a couple we're just going to mention today. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I'll say is most of the dates we're going to mention are going to be for spring delivery schools. So if you are a summer or a fall delivery school, all of your information will be in the tip of the week. But we're not going to mention it here because we don't want to confuse everybody. But then somebody's going to say, well, I heard you saying the tip of the week. And I'm like, no, that was for other people. Okay. So these, these dates that we're talking about now are going to be for spring books. And for fall and spring, look in the printed tip. Right. Okay. All so right. So first, let's start with January 26th. All right. January 26th is the last day a parent can personalize their kid's yearbook. They can buy a yearbook after the 26th, mm -hmm. but they cannot personalize it. And I'm going to get some calls going, well, I missed that. Well, you better get out there and advertise it. And we're going to be advertising it, too. That is the drop-dead date. The plant starts putting the names on the book covers at that point. So we can't take any more because they can't stop and say, oh, well, let's go get one more cover for this school and put it on there. So that just stops production. January 26th. Now, what if you, and most of you don't do this, so don't let this panic you if you don't, but if you sell books at school for cash mm -hmm. and someone purchased a book at school for cash or check and they have a personalization request, what is, when does that have to be in? January 26th. Okay. Let's go ahead and put everything. Everything. In. So if I, as a parent, bought a book, wanted personalization, and I paid you as the advisor and you forgot to enter it until the 27th, Yes, let's get yeah. them all in. Let's the get 20s. them all in. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because you don't want to have an upset parent because right. you dropped the ball, right? Yes. And the plant will will not let me submit any names no. after the 26th. So that's really and, important. Yeah. And for most of you, the only thing you really need to know is to advertise that to parents. Um, but, you know, occasionally there's that one off that is, you know. So, all right, next date. All right, the next date is I have to order so many books printed. Okay, mm -hmm. and unlike a lot of other companies out there, we wait really late. We wait till the end of February for me to have to put in those numbers. And that's real important because we get to pre-sale from August through February, and then we order a few extra books so we can sell all through the end. I was at a school the other day that worked with a different company last year, and they told me that they had 300 books in their basement with nothing to do with them. <laughs> well, you're not going to do that. I, I sell out of books. Yeah, so, we, right. so we, wanna, we want that number of books we order to be as perfect as possible, <clears throat> right? Exactly. And you guys have the advantage of Kim, who has all this knowledge from previous years of working with you, and she keeps those records so immaculately. So she's going to share that information mm -hmm. with you, right? You're going to get an email from me, and it's mm -hmm. going to say, hey, it's time to order books. Don't panic. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to help you do this. And it's going to show you how many books we ordered last year. Mm -hmm. And it's going to show you if we had a sellout or if we had any left. Mm -hmm. It's going to tell you how many books you sold year to date last year mm -hmm. at that time. And it's going to show you how many books you've sold year to date this year at this time. And then I'm going to give you my suggestion based on how many books you've sold from March to May of what you need to order. Okay, but. I'll be honest, I like to pre-sell as many as possible up through February 28th, okay? Well, well all those pre-sales are guaranteed sales. The books come in, right. they have a home, they're paid for. That's right. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to send you this email, and I'm going to give you a due date. And it's going to be February 28th. And you have to email me back by that date, or I go with my recommendation. Because I can't wait, because they're due, okay? So... So you, they have to answer you by February 28th, but they're probably not going to get that email until just a few days before because you have to crunch the numbers. I have to crunch the numbers. They'll get it at the beginning of that week, okay, or even that Friday before. I'll get it out as quick as I can, um, and then you're going to make sure that you read my email, and then maybe look at your online sales if they've changed any since I've sent it. And I think that would be real important. And then you'll call me if you have questions or email me, and then we'll talk through it. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, important dates are January 26th, last day for personalization. February 28th, you're going to send me what you agree with to order as far as number of books for spring schools only. All right. So, let's talk about the fun stuff. 
What? Contest? Uh -huh. Okay, we're going to have a little yeah. contest, all right? I love it. So tell us about it. Well, we're going to need to help you understand year-to-date sales and how that really is important. Whether or not you're running on the same track you were last year, whether you're behind, or whether you're way ahead. So if you look on your homepage, and we'll show you an example right here, um, there are graphs, mm -hmm. and it says last year, year-to-date, and this year. So it's going to say, on this same date last year, you had sold... 100 books. Mm -hmm. And this year you sold 105. That's so right. how are you doing there? Yeah, you're five ahead, right? You're five ahead, that's great. No need to, don't, don't get all happy that you're five ahead though. We want right. to keep moving. Because just like we continue to sell every day this year, we continued to sell every day last mm -hmm. year too. So that number on the top one is going to continue to rise as days passed. And so right. you want to keep up with that, with that bottom one. And you have to also understand that some of you have different goals from last year. You've got increase in student body. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sold out? And there were a lot of people who wanted books, so we just increased our goal. Now, the goal is not how many books we're ordering. That's just sort of a, a goal. A, a goal. We <laughs> say, hey, we're trying to reach that. That's a really cool place to be. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you examples of people that are way ahead, almost where they were last year, kind of behind. Yeah. And so we're going to have to come up with some strategies to get you ahead. And that might be just as simple as calling parents and saying, hey, last day to personalize is sure. the 26th. Or, you know, maybe you're going to make up a date like February 15th is the last day to pre-order. So you have more idea of how yeah. much, you know, you're going to need. So pay attention to these details and look at the graphs that we're getting ready to show you. Yeah. So if you are one of these schools, then you are way ahead or, or significantly ahead than you were last year. And that's fantastic. Um, we want you to keep that momentum going. Because you're already ahead, you are already entered into our drawing. Um, and our drawing is going to be um, a prize for the advisor because we know that you are steering this ship. And that's so right. We want you to encourage your staff to keep... Um, <laughs> I'm steering this ship. You're steering the ship. <laughs> we want to encourage our advisors to continue to encourage their staffs so the prize will be for the advisor mm -hmm. so you'll be entered into drawing and because you are ahead you're already entered so all you have to do is keep that momentum going so good job mm -hmm. and it will be a cash price Ooh, i like a cash I price. okay all right so the second category we have here and we'll show you some examples are those of you who are way behind um or maybe way behind is not a nice way to say it, but sometimes you just got to say what's true. Yeah, I mean, it just needs to be advertised. We got to get the word out, yeah, okay? Yeah. A so lot of these are schools that I don't get emails from too. I mean, yeah. I don't, I can't. So come. it's all on you as yeah. the staff and advisor, right? Yeah. So um, you have a little bit of work to do, but it's attainable. You yes. sold this many last year so that it can happen again. So we need to figure out how mm -hmm. do we let these folks know. Um, remember we talked about that coverage report and how you can pull last year buyers and shoot them an email to let them know, mm -hmm. know which students to go contact. Use that coverage report to pull up the kids who are in the book a lot and, and make sure their parents know, mm -hmm. hey, your kid is covered in this book and you haven't bought one. And also under plan and promote, if you go to sell mm -hmm. and plan and promote, there are uh, little flyers you can print that show how many times somebody's in a book and it's only for those who have not purchased a book. And they print out three to a page, and you can, like, yeah. make fun displays. Maybe we'll give a few examples of yeah. those. You know, another thing is checking all of your ad buyers and making mm -hmm. sure that they bought a book. Because yeah. you don't want to have somebody purchasing an ad and not a book. So, pull every string you can right now That's and right. get those numbers back up. All right. Yeah. So, this is really a challenge, okay? Because being a yearbook advisor is not just submitting pages and dealing with the staff. We are selling ads. We are selling books. We are running a business. You are the CEO and you are managing every department. So you're going to manage your ad department, your book sale department, and submitting your page department. So you guys are amazing. Yeah. All right. We got one more category and that is the you're real close. And I think <laughs> I think this category is the scariest to me because it gives you a little bit of, all right, I got this. I mean, we're already ahead by one, but just like the bottom goal can change, your top one can change too because what if last year during this week you sold 30 books right or 100 books and you sit back this week and do nothing thinking ah, i got this yeah uh, so, so don't sh get too safe yeah. don't feel too safe always every day check that make yeah. sure you're looking at what was year to date last year where yeah. i'm at this year and just try to beat it man just yeah. beat it by 10 15 percent or something i you love know? to win something I just like okay. them. Like, I would feel so good if I won by just, like, beating that goal. And I like a goal. A goal has a way of telling me where I need to be, and so I will work to attain that yeah. goal. It's not like it's not like you're blind on this. All the information you need is on Yearbook Avenue. You just use it, okay? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we are going to 
<laughs> we're going to decide on the date this is due. We don't know what it is yet, but we're going to mm -hmm. put it right here on the screen for you. And so this date, we will be checking to see who has made their current sales match or exceed their year-to-date sales. Uh -huh. And then you all go in the drawing. And then we're going to give somebody some cash. That's right. All right. I like it. We'll <laughs> see you next week, and maybe we'll have a winner for you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. I don't think that's how you steer a ship. Is that how you steer a ship? No, that's a rudder. Well, actually, they're all electronic oh, now. Anyway. I'm back in the old dog, <laughs> 1700s. <laughs> so... <laughs>